Time Machine, Theory and Reality Time travel has always been the focus of science fiction writers, in movies and TV series from Doctor Who to Star Trek and Back to the Future. We often saw the following picture. People getting into a miracle car and arriving in the past or the future, ready for new adventures. And each character has his or her own theories of time travel. We'll return to the most interesting movies about time travel at the end of our video. But what do scientists say about this, and how realistic is it that time travel will become commonplace in the future? Time travel is theoretically possible, but it is beyond our current technological capacities. Some scientists argue that time travel is basically impossible. There are even those who say that the attempt would be fatal for any person who chooses to make it. Understanding Time most people think of time as a constant, but physicist Albert Einstein showed that time is just an illusion. Time is a relative quantity, and it can be different for several observers depending on their speed in space. For Einstein, time is the fourth dimension. Space is described as a three-dimensional quantity, which denotes the traveler's coordinates, such as length, width, and height, indicating location. Time gives another coordinate, direction, although conventionally it only travels forward. Einstein's special theory of relativity states that time slows down or speeds up depending on how fast you're moving relative to another object. Approaching the speed of light, a person inside a spaceship will age much slower than his twin brother at home. Also, according to Einstein's general theory of relativity, gravity can change time. Imagine a four-dimensional model called space-time. When something with mass sits on this piece of cloth, it causes a kind of deepening or curvature of space-time. The curvature of space-time causes objects to move on a curved trajectory, and this curvature of space is what we call gravity. Both the general and special theories of relativity applied using GPS satellite technology, which allows very accurate clocks. The effects of gravity, as well as the increasing speed of the satellites above the Earth relative to observers on the ground, cause the unadjusted clocks to rush in 38 microseconds per day. In a sense, this effect called time dilation means that the astronaut time travelers return to Earth slightly younger than their identical twins who remain on the planet across the wormhole. According to NASA, general relativity also provides scenarios that could allow travelers to go back in time. The equations, however, may be difficult to achieve physically. One challenge is to move faster than light, which travels at 186,282 miles per second, 299, 792 kilometers per second, in a vacuum. However, Einstein's equation shows that an object moving at the speed of light would have both infinite mass and length equal to zero. This seems physically impossible, although some scientists have expanded his equations and claim that there is a solution. The possibility would be to create wormholes between points in space-time. Although Einstein's equations call for them, they collapse very quickly and are suitable only to very small particles. Furthermore, scientists have not yet observed these wormholes, and the technology required to create wormholes is far superior to anything we have today. While Einstein's theories seem to make time travel difficult, some groups of scientists have proposed alternative solutions that allow rapid forward and backward time travel. While Einstein's theories seem to make time travel difficult, some groups of scientists have proposed alternative solutions that allow rapid forward and backward time travel. While Einstein's theories seem to make time travel difficult, some groups of scientists have proposed alternative solutions that allow rapid forward and backward time travel. Infinity Cylinder Astronomer Frank Tipler proposed a mechanism, sometimes known as a post a mechanism, sometimes known as a Tipler cylinder, in which you can take matters that is 10 times the mass of the sun and then roll it up into a very long but dense cylinder. After spinning at several billion revolutions per minute, a nearby spacecraft, following a spiral trajectory around this cylinder, can hit a closed, time-like curve. This method, however, has limitations. For it to work, the cylinder must be infinitely long, which already shows the impossibility of making this theory a reality. Black holes. Another theory was time travel using black holes. If you quickly move a ship around a black hole or artificially create this state with a huge rotating structure, you can achieve time travel. They will travel in circles, experiencing only half the time, unlike those far away from the black hole. The ship and its crew will travel through time. Physicist Stephen Hawking wrote in the Daily Mail in 2010, Imagine that they circled all over black holes for five years with 10 on Earth. 
when they went on Earth would have aged five more years than they did. However, he added, the crew would have to move at the speed of light for this to work. Physicist Amos Iron of the Technion Institute of Technology in Haifa, Israel, pointed out another limitation in using the machine. It could collapse before it could spin that fast. Cosmic Strings Another theory for potential time travelers takes as its basis something called cosmic strings, narrow energy tubes stretching the length of the ever-expanding universe. It is assumed that these thin regions, left over from the early cosmos, contain enormous amounts of mass, and therefore can warp space and time around them. Scientists say that space strings are either infinite or form loops without ends. The approach of two such strings, parallel to each other, could warp space-time so much and in a specific configuration that it could theoretically make time travel possible. The Time Machine It is generally believed that traveling forward or backward in time would require a, in time would require a device, a time machine, to get you to the right place. The operation of a time machine, according to scientists, involves warping space-time so much that timelines turn on their own, forming a loop technically known as a closed time-like curve. The time machine is believed to require an unusual form of matter with a so-called negativity energy density. Such exotic matter has bizarre properties, including moving in the opposite direction to that of normal matter. Such matter could theoretically exist, but if it did, it might be present in quantities too small to create a time machine. The good old paradox. In addition to physical problems, time travel can also be accompanied by some unique situations. A classic example is the paradox in which a time traveler returns and kills his parents or grandfather. A major storyline in the Terminator movies or otherwise interferes with their relationship, leading to the hero born or his life being forever changed. If this were to happen, some physicists say, and you were not born in one parallel universe, you would still be born in another. Others say that the photons that make up light prefer permanence over time, which might prevent this terrible suicidal plan. Some scientists disagree with the aforementioned options and say that the time travel is possible, regardless of your method. Charles Liu, an astrophysicist at the American Museum of Natural History, in particular, ridiculed the FTL theory. It just doesn't work mathematically, he said in an interview. I'm in his opinion, people might not even be able to survive time travel at all. To travel it near the speed of light would require a centrifuge, but that would be comparable to suicide, said Jeff Toliskin, professor of physics at Chapman University. Using gravity would also be lethal. You could stand on a neuron star to experience time dilution, but the forces a person but the forces a person would experience would tear them apart. A recent study at the University of Queensland sheds light on the difficult paradox. In this study, scientists mathematically prove that time travel without paradoxes is possible, showing off that the universe self-corrects to avoid inconsistencies. If this is true, then even if we could travel through time, we could never alter events to create a different future. While these new results are very enlightening, there seems to be more evidence that while time dilation may allow us to see into the future, we can never go into the past. As the late Stephen Hawking said in his book, Black Holes in Children's Universes, the best evidence that time travel to the past is not possible and never will be, is that we have not yet been invaded by hordes of tourists from the future. We have more or less dealt with the theory. Now let's return to our favorite example of fiction in movies. Time travel in fiction. Some methods used in fiction include a one-way the time traveler leaves home, but the people he or she left behind may have grown old or died by the time the traveler returns. Examples, Interstellar 2014, Ikara HV1 1963. Time travel by moving through higher dimensions. In Interstellar, tesseracts are available in which astronauts can travel because the ship represents time as a dimension of space. A similar concept is expressed in Madeleine Lang's A Wrinkle in Time, 2018, based on a series of books beginning in 1963, where time is rolled up with a tesseract. The book, however, uses supernatural beings to make the journey possible. Space-time vortex travel the famous Doctor Who, 1963 through present, and its TARDIS, Time and Relative Dimension in Space, uses a superdimensional vortex to travel through time. 
while travelers inside the time machine feel that time flows normally. Instant Time Jump The girl who jumped through time, 2006, DeLorean, From Back to the Future, 1985, and Mr. Peabody's car from The Rocky and Bullwinkle Show, 1959-64. through 64. Time Travel Standing Still The Time Machine, a book from 1895, Hermione Granger's Time Wheel from Harry Potter, keeps the traveler immobile while he moves through time. Travel Faster Than Light in Superman the Movie, 1979, Superman flies faster than light to go back in time and rescue Lois Lane before she's killed. This concept was also used in Gregory Benford's 1980 novel, Timescape, in which the main character sends hypothetical tachyon particles back to Earth in 1962 to warn of disaster. In several Star Trek episodes and movies, he also travels through time, moving faster than light, in the comic book and the Flash series, they use a space treadmill to travel through time. Other lesser 1994, has a rocket sled that appears and disappears from view when it is used, leading to much speculation about what actually happens in the film. The Terminator movie series also has a time shift, demonstrating how to wage war in four dimensions, including time. So, is time travel possible? Although time machine travel seems impossible, advances in quantum theories may be able to provide some insight into how to overcome the paradoxes of time travel in the near future. One possibility is to address the question of how certain particles can communicate instantly with each other at faster than the speed of light. Well, while science is pondering, time travel fans can only experience travel with their imagination through movies, television, and books. Thanks for watching. See you next time.